Okay, now we will write code to make this field read only and we will generate it with the asset number from the parent object when we click on the new row button. So I'm going back to Eclipse here. In this case, I already created uh, the uh, MBO set and MB, MBO object for the uh, record. So in this case, I have the asset log set extend MBO set and implement a uh, asset log set remote interface for the interface I just extend the standard MBO set remote in case of this one it is uh, MBO remote I'm just doing this to uh, follow best practice to have the uh, two classes and the uh, two interfaces uh, for this uh, MBO offset, but uh, in this case, I don't make any extended implementation for the interface here. just to make it consistent. Okay, so going back to the asset log set here, I have implemented the uh, constructor and the get MBO instance to return a new asset log record, which is this one. Now, with the asset log record, I have set up the uh, standard class and uh, constructor now first in order to make the uh, asset num field uh, here so to make this field uh, read only then we will have to uh, extend the init method of the uh, uh, object so that's what I'm gonna do next so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna override the init method So basically, when we uh, initialize the class, then we will set the asset num field to read only. So we can do this by setting using this method uh, set field flat, and we're gonna set the asset num field with read only. Gonna set it to true. Yeah, and now in order to write this field with the value of the asset, the parent asset record, then uh, we're gonna do that in the. Uh, we cannot can can do that in the init uh, method as well. Uh, so I guess uh, let's say. Oh, actually, we shouldn't do that in the init method because like every time we load the record it will do the same thing we don't want to do that we only want to write the value of this field only when we add a new record so in order to do that then probably we should use a different method so in this case I'm gonna use the public void add method so mx exception And then I'm gonna use this and then uh, set value. Now I'm gonna set value to the same field. Then I'm gonna set it new. I'm gonna set no. Okay, so string. will be we will use the get owner to get to the parent record asset record and then we will use the get string method to get the value of the asset num field of the parent record yep i think that will need a remote exception as well Yeah, so I think that's what we need to do. Now we're gonna deploy the new code and see if it works. So I'm gonna deploy it. Yep. 
and now going back to our application we will have to tell Maximo that uh, this uh, asset lock uh, object will need to use our new class as well so we will need to open database configuration then open the asset lock what is it uh, what did we call it the last time yeah ASD lock yeah so now this is the standard uh, class but we're gonna change it with our custom class custom uh, what is it class name uh, we got custom app asset then asset lock set mm. So, yeah okay so now we will need to apply the change okay it's done now let's see if our code works okay so we go to lock let's click on new row and set view is if read only all right so now we got a small problem here in our code we first when we uh, initialize our class we set the field to read only and now when we click on a new add a new record then we try to set a value to it so uh, it's obviously doesn't work so in order to avoid this problem then we can set a flag here by using the MBO constant object so we're gonna use constant then uh, no access check and by doing this then uh, we will tell Maximo to ignore the uh, field flag that we set earlier now I'm gonna deploy the new code. Yeah. And then in this guy probably Maximo will need to reload the class. Yeah, you can see here. So we will have to wait for some time here. Yeah. So let's wait for it to load. Usually it will uh, load a new class a lot faster, but uh, because I'm recording video in this case, so it consumes a lot of uh, power, a lot of uh, CPU power. So uh, it will take some time for the application to load a new class. Yeah, it's working back again now. So I'm going to open our asset application. Okay. Let's open it again and now click on new row yeah you can see that it's try the new parent asset number in here so and also it makes a field read only as you can see we cannot try anything to this field we can try to do it with a different record yeah it writes the asset number into this field 
So probably we'll, we'll need to uh, make this uh, field read only as well so that uh, we cannot make change to this field. Yeah, so that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.